the US and South Korean militaries will join together for a final military exercise to close out a heated 2017 with F-22 and F-35 stealth jets training right off North Korea's borders. The exercise, called Vigilant Ace, will run from December 4th to 8th and involve 12,000 military personnel between the US and South Korea, as well as 230 aircraft, a defense official told the Wall Street Journal it will also be the first time six F-22 Raptors will visit South Korea, and it will focus on enemy infiltration and precision airstrikes. According to Yonhap News the drill will close out a heated 2017 where President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un have exchanged vicious threats of destroying each other's countries with the emphasis of stealth jets to the annual U.S.-South Korea exercises. This drill will be unlike any others. The U.S. typically invites international observers to its military drills, but North Korea simply has no way to track stealth jets in late September. The U.S. flew a B-1B bomber and a few F-15 fighter jets near North Korea, and Pyongyang never found out. In the past, the U.S. has had to tell North Korea about B-1B flights, because North Korea can't detect them on their own. A South Korean defense official told NK News at the time that's why stealth jets in South Korea is a nightmare for North Korea. North Korea sees us in South Korean military drills as preparation for an invasion to remove Kim. North Korea has specifically threatened to shoot down us B-1B bombers when they fly or where they rest at Anderson Air Force Base in Guam. Often, North Korea schedules its missile launches around the dates of us and South Korean drills and protests, but North Korea is no chance of spudding, tracking, or shooting down stealth jets, in the commonly accepted role of stealth platforms as being door kickers, or weapon systems to start wars off, will only aggravate Pyongyang's worst fears so a year of record high tensions between the US and North Korea will end with practically invisible jets flying over the Korean peninsula, and there is little that Kim Jong-un can do in response.